today's deck is all about me. Zip it, Thanos. Somebody asked me for a weird destroy deck, and does this qualify? If not, let me know, and I will try to come up with an even weirder one. We, of course, have both Thanos and Deadpool, and they are joined by the various stones. Really quick note from the nerd's editor. Space Stone does not allow you to move Thanos. I repeat, Space Stone does not allow you to remove Thanos. It is very unclear wording. I wish they would remove it because it acts like any other card when it comes to movement. So you have Space Stone, Reality Stone, Time Stone, Mind Stone, Power Stone, and Soul Stone. And most of those get destroyed by either Killmonger, Carnage, Deathlock, Venom, or Lady Deathstrike. X-23 gives you bonus energy when you are doing all of that destruction. Shang-Chi is just a very strong card in general and good for taking out opposing big threats. Mockingbird, if you don't end up going the more Killmonger and Destroy route, you can get down Mockingbird. Maybe it works out you get down Mockingbird first and then start destroying your stones, but she just provides a different path that you can take depending on how your game is going. There is Death, which gets super cheap, or sometimes even zero, especially depending how many one-cost cards that your opponent has, and if you're able to take them out with Killmonger. And Eliath, for when you have priority going into turn six, being able to shut down very obvious combo-centric decks where it's clear where they're going to play, and just completely nullify their game plan. This deck has a ton of flexibility in that you're typically not going to be able to get off your Deadpool consistently, of course. It's a much larger deck. But when it does happen, you can get a cheap one cost and a decent amount of power for the last turn or later turns in the game. And it just kind of comes together. Opponents don't know what to expect. And so let's get into it and let me show you how this deck works. Okay, first up we have Rising, Daily Bugle, I'm sure they will get my alive because that's just how things work. We have Claw from them, they are a normal deck, 8 cards in their deck. I played the Time Stone down first, do I wait on the Space Stone? No, because it has a draw card, so I will just play it down. Along with X-23, that way next turn I can destroy. What kind of deck am I playing? <laughs> we have the Mind Stone and Power Stone. So this is, do I go the Thanos route? I think I go the Thanos route. So they get down Nocturne. Just because Thanos is super powerful. There's Killmonger. I do not have Death though. So that is why we'll go the Thanos route. I will play... Reality Stone into Venom. Next turn, I can play... Hmm. Next turn, I can play Thanos... Oh, that is hilarious. <laughs> that is absolutely hilarious. I want to snap. I really want to snap. Oh, there's death. I could continue going down the Thanos route. And then I could play... Eliath? I think that's my line, so I'm going to snap. I have priority, so play order doesn't matter too much. Soul Stone and Thanos... And then, I think it's just a Lyoth. Yeah. So, man, I wish I would have snapped early. Earlier. This is piloting. I should have snapped the turn prior. 
Reality Stone was just a huge advantage. So that's why ultimately I ended up snapping on turn five instead of turn six. And we were just too well positioned, but I had an issue seeing it early enough, but I should have. So that is one of the play lines. You heard me talk about, do I go the Thanos route? Do I go the death route maybe? Or now I have claw from my opponent. With Mind Stone, I was always going to draw all of my cards. With Soul Stone, that protects Thanos so I can get him down early and essentially win this lane completely because overcoming a 20 power Shang-Chi proof card is just fantastic. And it will always be 20 power because they're probably not running Killmonger. <laughs> and I could just ally it to prevent them from doing anything to the Power Stone. But also, if he weren't in the deck, you could always slam another big power card. And in most cases, you should be fine. Or go the Killmonger route into a free death. All right, we are against Taniel. Hmm? They have a... Arishem deck. So we're gonna draw some stones. I'm gonna snap because you almost always want to snap turn one mind stone. Sinister London gives me a bunch of them. Carnage, I think it fills my hand, but honestly, who cares? Because I'm still getting more draws. Uh, net draws. So I'm denied one draw, but I just drew three. And I avoided Triskelion. Fantastic. I think I continue to stack stones so time and space and then i can play carnage to clean that up i am holding reality because i could rip away oh the sinister london i could rip it away from them Boy, I am I am getting denied all of these <laughs> location location uh, cards, which is honestly I'm fine with. I definitely want to play Deadpool first, just in case Carnage goes over there. And now we will see what they do here, and if I rip away Reality Stone or if I keep it and get two Thanoses. So we shall see. Drax, okay, that's fine. I think I go the two Thanos' route. Get Thanos down. I've forgotten how many stones I've played. Destroy one, two, three. Okay, no two Thanos'. <laughs> Ooh, a Havoc Gamer. Look at that. Havoc through Arishem. Boy, this deck is just fantastic. So many options. Mockingbird will be free. I'll have death. So I want to go reality just because they're going to fill here in all likelihood. I'm going to go power stone. No. Hello. Deadpool and Venom. That gets my death down to two. Yeah, I like this better. And then I see what lane I need to actually attack. So they filled flooding as expected. Hey. Reality Stone giveth, and Reality Stone taketh. So they almost assuredly win left. Yes, they definitely win left. And they have one middle. I was going to like your video, but not anymore. And we are just... <laughs> that... That is a hilarious snap. Those These snaps never make sense because I don't know who would stay. I've already lost. All of my lanes are filled. We drew Killmonger too late. Reality Stone took it from us. 
Let me retreat and not hold them up. So I've destroyed mind, time, and space. So that's three stones. Reality is four. Power stone is five. I didn't have the soul stone. So it always made sense to do reality stone. If I did not, if I had the soul stone, then maybe I hold back on reality stone and play that on the last turn because now I'm going to get the buff from power playing power stone all the stones like I did in the first game but you can despite how this game went you can see the power that it can output right now we have a one cost death a zero cost mockingbird a one cost deadpool of course at four power and we just had options. Reality Stone really messed us over because had we be able to play, been able to play into the left location, they would have gotten to 28. So Mockingbird wins that lane. And then we probably go Death, Mockingbird left, Death middle, Lady Deathstrike, and just Lady Deathstrike? Be, I'm thinking about potentially playing around a Shang-Chi and spreading out the power that way. So that would have been my plan. Reality Stone took that away. No problem. Get out of here for two, unfortunately, for two. But it was always the right decision to snap with Mind Stone on turn one. Shall be set right. Okay, next up we have Monkey D. Ozzy. Mirror Dimension first location. I will just throw down the Time Stone because it draws a card. Into Lady Deathstrike. We do have Killmonger, so if we can get enough stones, we this have death. Did. They probably got our death because that's just how luck works. <laughs> we are not drawing great. They have not played a single card. Do I play the stone out? Do I play Deathlock? I will play Deathlock here and uh, see what see what happens. I should have saved Deathlock, <laughs> but also Lady Deathstrike can come in handy there. I will save the real. No, this game isn't going well. So because this game isn't going well, I'm going to play Reality and Killmonger and try to get a scam win. They're also not drawing well. Okay, I'll take that. I can always play Power Stone there later. And if this is some kind of, okay, man thing, all right. So if I play Sarah? No, I don't think I play Sarah. I have priority, so this Lady Deathstrike is not gonna take any other junk they send my way. But we will make them think that they have to still contend. So I think I spread out? Do they have a bigger power card than five? Spectrum? Two, four? So if they play Spectrum, they get up to 15? 19 potentially? That's a tie. I think I win tiebreaker. I'm seeing this through. Okay, I guess they do win. Left. Oh, the hazmat. Oh, is that gonna be enough? Oh, it is just enough? Oh, not quite. <laughs> oh, that was scary. Yeah, there weren't there weren't many permutations that I could think of. I did not clearly think of Ajax and Hazmat, but also I left my by playing Lady Deathstrike middle. I forced them to have to respect all three lanes. They had to try to win all three lanes, and so ultimately they went for the tiebreaker because Killmonger went down to two, Hazmat's two. They can win the tiebreaker with Ajax over in Throne Room. That was their plan. Thankfully, they did not anticipate death 
plus a stone, which nullifies the tiebreaker. And death is just power more powerful than what they could do middle with their game plan, even with Sarah. And we, we pulled it out. Was that the right move? Oh, but I lost right. Oh. Miss Marvel. I am going up against a Miss Marvel deck. Bar with no name. Who has priority? They do. They have Quake in their deck. So that is a risk. Hello. Because they can easily swap Bar with no name either now, but then I would need to draw into Killmonger. Or they wait for the, the Quake play. I could take out, I can't take out Lady Deathstrike unless I get X-23 uh, to take out the Daredevil. Opponent. Sean, hmm. I think I will just get down the Deadpool. Wind, aid my hand. Oh, what a strong play. Death lockdown. Yep, the Miss Marvel, and they always have. What a game! Oh, could they play Quake at this point? I don't know if they could play Quake at this point. Because if they play Quake mid, that just flips flooded over here. I do have priority. So we'll play down the Lady Death Strike, and if they play Quake Middle, that doesn't do it for them either. Okay, so do they just play Professor X? I do not know. <laughs> I do not know. I could go for Reality Stone Bar with no name, but I'm already winning that location. Yeah, this is just if they have Professor X, they win. They do not. So is this enough? Power the minus 10? Controlled. It most definitely is. Further, faster, baby. They, they got cocky, and uh, we may have put them in their place. Victory. This was a very weird way to win. I ended up going with Tech just because they kind of have an interesting deck and I don't know they expect a Shang-Chi in my deck, so that is why I ended up going with the Shang-Chi route. Okay. Soul Stone we will just throw into Danger Room because why not? Draws us a card, maybe discounts death. Mind Stone is fantastic. So I definitely play out Mind Stone. Continue to go into Danger Room. Okay. I guess... I oh no, do I skip? I don't think I skip here. Mockingbird's free. I have Killmonger. Yeah, and do I Killmonger this turn? I think I'm good Killmongering this turn. Oh, snap. oh, but if they don't play anything, I can play Reality Stone down. Opponent snapped. I'll wait. I'll wait on that and play down the carnage. Okay. That's fine. They might storm this turn. 
which again is okay. Hello. Deadpool and Killmonger. Oh, or do I play Time Stone down? Time Stone and Killmonger. That way I can play Thanos down next turn. So this is almost definitely a... I would fully expect a storm. Right. No, it is not. Okay. Ooh, free death. Ooh. It is just Thanos. Because I have Reality Stone for Danger Room. So if they... I fully expect Miss Marvel. So I don't need to heavily commit right. I have a free death. I have Reality Stone. And I have a Sean. So I have many tools. I will have priority. So I'll be able to Sean a big target if they go that way. I also have Death. Wind aid okay. My hand. So I think it's just Miss Marvel. Hmm, do I spread it out? Reality, death. I'm going to spread out my power. They can only play one card. Yeah, so this is probably a Miss Marvel. And I think I win with the plus five anyway. And I might even win middle. So there's the Miss Marvel. Is this... No, it is not. It is Quake. Yeah. No dice. So, we took out the very cocky player. Let's uh, emote back. And uh, they have been dispatched. I really like how I was able to showcase the different ways to win with this deck against this player. Okay, next up we have Matthias Goomp. Uh, Dream Dimension is not great. I will just play down the Space Stone, see what we draw into. Daily Bugle will probably get my... Oh, Mockingbird is nice. Two Mockingbirds is even better. <laughs> the regular deck. I will hold because there is nothing to do. They in all likelihood are a Patriot player. Get down Soul Stone. Do, 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 do. Yes, yeah, Soul Stone here. This may end up being my Carnage Lane. Killmonger, get down my Mockingbird. Oh, their Mockingbird? Yes, let's get down their Mockingbird. Okay, Killmonger is useless this game. What are we doing here? I think I'm going another Mockingbird, but I'm going this direction just to hedge against what they might be trying to do. And we drew into a lion. This is exactly why I hedged. It was a one out of nine to draw a uh, Eliath. If they play Ultron left, their uh, drones are worth three apiece, three, six, nine, Nightcrawler is five, three, six, nine, two more, 11, 11, 15, I think this always wins. It's too late to snap, so we will just take the two cubes, uh oh, baby. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Got him. This is why Eliath is in the deck. 
oftentimes you can get priority. Sure, we kind of cheated with the Mockingbird priority, but also if I didn't have Mockingbird, I would have played Carnage, and that would have gotten me probably enough points left. And just a straightforward win. This is how the deck works. Sadly, I cannot spend super long with the decks I create anymore now that I need to constantly create more decks for people to watch. So if you play enough with this deck, there are lines I should have snapped earlier. This is what you're watching is the learning process of me seeing, okay, I didn't snap this game, but I should have snapped back before I played the second Mockingbird. But again, drawing into Lyoth was the saving grace. If they played Ultron here or cards here, they were probably never going to win left, which is why we played the Mockingbird there. And then if they play the Ultron here or try any nonsense here, which is what they did, the Elioth cleans that up and we had our bases covered. This deck is kind of a weird mashup and you saw the different avenues that you can take while using this deck. Ultimately, I want to make clear this is a combo deck, so in all likelihood you will have a losing record. So it's important to learn how to properly snap and retreat and when to do so. For me personally, this is a competitive deck. I was able during my testing to climb ranks. I'm not really caring about my ladder rank. I want to get back more into Conquest. So you saw me sprinkle in a couple of Conquest games or maybe just one. My ladder rank has kind of fallen. I think it was in the low team, maybe 18,000 or something like that. And just during the course of testing, I climbed to like 11,000. So this deck can be used to climb if you're smart about your snapping and retreating. And that was also while I was testing. So of course I was doing bad stays in there just to learn how the deck operates and what I can win and lose to. So again, this deck can be competitive, but also quite frankly, I had fun playing this deck. And there's just a lot of different things you can do. So it's just important on evaluating the best path forward. And hopefully you use the deck and you have fun and get some cubes. Thank you for watching to the end of my videos. It's a big help to the channel. It helps me grow. It helps me reach more people. And another big thanks to all of the members of the channel. They are slowly growing by number and I appreciate every single one of them. And it's just super cool. This whole YouTube journey is, is the coolest thing ever. Uh, I'm a kid again and it is thanks to viewers like you all and my members. Until next time. Zip it, Nano.